Look what these guys are doing. You know, these are volunteers from all over the United States pulling for Louisiana. It has not stopped. Many people haven't slept. You hear I have no voice. Look here. Some people have been with me for five or six days doing that. We're going to give some faces to those people here. Look, they're here. This is where we have asked for aid and why I put a plea and a cry out. Our homes are destroyed. There's no coming in and replacing and repairing. Um, this is devastated. So I'm going to get out of the car and just walk real quick down this big pile. This is really going to be a forgotten area. We don't see people out here feeding. We don't see people out here helping. We're just sitting out here going, oh my word, what do we do? They can't cook. Um, they can't refrigerate. So, here's someone. There's our nice little neighbor. Do you, are you guys using bottled water? Yes. So, you know to do that. Yes. Are you living in this house? No, we were at a shelter, and then uh, Monday they transferred us to a hotel. Did you hear her not even ask for, like, luxury? She didn't say, I need Santa Fe to come drop food. She said, I need gloves to keep me safe, and I need water to keep me hydrated. So, that's how much they needed here. Thank you so much. We'll be back. I'm taking one step each day towards doing what needs to be done in my life. And, you know, like today, I'm going through the house and, you know, we just found the tooth of my baby. And she's 10 now and I've held on to that tooth, I don't know, since she was, what, five when it fell out, her first tooth. So, this is maggots and feces and animals and my poor daughter's room. My daughter has nothing left. This is my front yard. We're just throwing it out the window. That's us just throwing it out. So Probably known by now that this area is it's not a livable area. So these are our last moments in our home until we figure out what the state and all of them are going to do with it and how it's going to turn out. I'm going to give you one last view of what devastation looks like. It pretty much sucks. You know, we've had to make decisions in the last 24 hours that we just didn't want to make. But just like the Heights area and many areas that are just going unnoticed. You know, you, you got to keep giving. You got to keep helping. It's so funny because I got a lot of help out, and there's just no help in my situation. And I feel I know that a lot of people feel that there's just not a lot of help. A lot of people ask me why I haven't been posting videos. I'm still helping. I'm still donating. I'm still volunteering. But at the same time, I, I had to deal with now. my disaster. And sometimes as a victim, you know, I hate to use that word of victim, but, you know, this flood really takes a lot out of you. Um, we're still pushing aid out to all the areas. Lafayette still has many, many, many people without homes. Um... As a flood victim, I can tell you that just daily eating is an issue. Of course, FEMA has put most of us in motels. But that still comes down to, have you ever went on a vacation? 
and how much it costs you to feed a family while you're in a hotel. It's pretty ridiculous. Do you know how you built rebuild Louisiana? I'll tell you, what, I got paint all over me. It's one board, one nail, one person, one family, one can of tuna, one pack of crackers, one pack of underwear, one face mask, one person. All it takes is you. So, think about what you're going to do, and tomorrow, just do it. Texas all the way to Alabama. We really want to thank you for lending us a hand. We truly appreciate you, every single one of you. A bunch of rednecks with trucks on the front lines and the Cajun boys will survive. We're gonna be just fine. The Cajun folk will survive.